I'm Rodney Howard, Process Control Product Manager with Warner Electric Supply located in Appleton, Wisconsin. The Factory Talk Analytics portfolio has expanded with the new Factory Talk Analytics Logic AI Embedded Analytics module. This new module is unlike anything Rockwell Automation has offered. Coupling machine learning to the Logix platform differentiates Rockwell in a new, unique way. Rockwell Automation's machine learning modeling can be configured inside the Studio 5000 programming environment. The embedded analytics module empowers end users to easily apply machine learning concepts without having to develop, validate, or sustain homegrown machine learning algorithms. By leveraging existing variables from the Logix controller, Customers realize benefits by reducing the need to cleanse data, reducing the need to expand your network infrastructure, reducing enterprise risk by internally safeguarding data within the Logix controller, all while improving the speed of embedded calculations. The automated machine learning model is targeted for use cases that can benefit from anomaly detection and soft sensing. For anomaly detection, the predictions enable a customer to act before a deviation from the normal operation occurs. For soft sensing, the model-generated predicted value can be used in place of manual calculations where it is not possible to deploy a field instrument when sensor validation is needed. Today, we will focus on anomaly detection utilizing model train mode and calculate mode with anomaly detection active. So let's get into the model creation. First thing we're going to do is connect using a standard browser to the module via an Ethernet port. So you have to have the IP address. Once we've established a connection, we're going to give the model a name. In this case, we're using Mia single element as the name of the model. We'll then point to the controller slot and enter that value. Next, we'll define the tag name that's going to be our output variable, meaning the model is going to be based on looking at this tag name. As well as defining the tag name, we also have to define ranges which the model will work within on that output variable. In this case, it's 40 to 102 pounds per minute, so we have to keep it within that range while the module is training. The other correlating variables we've added to the model are the variable frequency drive being in forward mode, which is a bit, the speed reference signal to the variable frequency drive, the level in the tank, and the control valve. Once we're satisfied, we save this as a user-defined data type to a designated folder, which we'll then use to import from when we're ready to load it into the Logix platform. Next, we import the UDT into our Logix application, picking it from the folder we sent it to originally, and now it's going to load. Once it loads, we validate that the structure is what we expect to see, and then we begin the training process. With the model now loaded in our application, now we're going to run Mia and initiate the start sequence. And while it's starting up, we're going to let it get into a stabilized mode. We have a set point in the upper tank, a 12 inches of water column, and we're going to have a flow rate of about 100 pounds per minute. So Mia begins to come up to set point and stabilize. After the processes have stabilized on Mia, we're then going to initiate a train mode on the Logix AI module. And so to do that, we've developed automatic learning logic, where we set this to automatic mode and we begin the training process. You can see that we've entered a confidence level of 90%. That's the level we want the model to stop learning. That's our minimum threshold. After the model reaches a 90% confidence factor, then the teaching phase of the model is complete. With that, we're going to move into the actual calculation mode where we can test if we have an anomaly. The anomaly will tell us something is different from what the model actually learned. When we get set up, we're actually going to bypass water around our model. So the model is looking at the primary flow. So the next thing we're going to do 
in order to validate that we have an anomaly is open up a bypass flow that isn't in our model parameter. So the model's going to think we've got a problem. So we open the valve, we initiate a manual click, and sure enough, you can see we have anomaly. We're going to close the valve, allow the system to stabilize a bit, and then we're going to do another manual calculation enable, and our anomaly should disappear. And you can see that it does. So we're back to that steady state model. So the model has now verified that we do have an anomaly. The next step is to test how low can we go on the flow before we actually trigger the anomaly. So we've now set the flow rate at 28 pounds per minute. Again, we're going to open the bypass valve flowing to the spray ball. We're going to manually trigger it. And you can see that although the relative error increases, it doesn't trigger an anomaly. We're looking for that 10% threshold. So now I'm going to increase the flow rate to 34 pounds a minute and I'm going to trigger the manual calculation again and you can see the anomaly is detected. Therefore, our model is very accurate between 10 and 11 hertz. The Factory Talk Analytics portfolio has expanded with a new offering, the Factory Talk Analytics Logix AI Embedded Analytics Module. Logix AI is an in-chassis logic platform offering which provides solutions using patented predictive analytic algorithms. Control engineers are now empowered to incorporate physics-based modeling inside the automation system to provide operational reliability, quality, and proactive thinking in an emerging data-driven culture. Contact your Warner Electric Supply Account Manager or a Rockwell Automation representative to learn more about this unique machine learning module.